Hi all, it's Nicholas from Groove Pages Training. If it's your first time with us, then welcome, and for everybody else, welcome back. Okay, in today's video, what we're going to look at is taking our uh, pages from Groove Pages. So I'm just going to go into Groove Pages. So any website that we've created in Groove Pages, and then having that transferred to our own domain name. So I've got a new website I'm working on here. I've had this domain for a while and just uh, haven't done anything with it, but I'm about to go through and load this up to my own domain name. So the process of doing that inside of Groove is that you need to come into the publish area here and you can obviously publish it on uh, Groove itself and it will use the name of your company or whatever you've given it and then you need to put a name in here. So it'll be whatever the name is .groovepages.com and then whatever the name of the website is. Alternatively, you can actually publish it on your own domain name by ticking this box down here. Now, we're going to go through this process today of showing you how to do it on your own domain. But to do that, you actually need two things first. Okay, so the first is a domain name. Now, we'd recommend you buy domain names from Namecheap. Um, it's a really good service and that's what we're going to be using today to show you how to connect your Groove Pages website uh, through to a domain name from Namecheap. And then you're going to need a Cloudflare account as well. So let's just go and have a look at those two programs. Okay, so the first one is uh, Namecheap, as you can see here. This is where you can buy a domain name if you don't already have one. And then Cloudflare as well, which is we're going to use to help us secure our website, get HTTPS encryption and edge serving so that our website shows up fast on any platform all the way around the globe. So if you don't have a domain name, again, go to Namecheap, create a domain name first, and you'll also need to come into Cloudflare here, as I said, click on sign up and go through the process and register. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start with Namecheap. So I'm gonna log into my account and take it from there. Okay, so I'm into my Namecheap account and what I wanna do here is I wanna come down to the domain that I want to move to Groove. And funnily enough, it's called Move It to Groove. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on Manage. So once you buy a domain name, if you just go back to the dashboard, if you're not sure where you are inside the domain system, Log in, go to the dashboard, it'll show all your domains. Just come straight over to Manage. And what we want to do in here is we want to change the name servers. At the moment, you can see these name servers are set to Namecheap's basic name servers. So in here. So I want to actually set what they call custom DNS or custom domain name services. So I'm going to click on that. And I need to put in two name servers now, the name servers we're going to actually get from Cloudflare. So you need to have a Cloudflare account, as I said. And once you've done that, you need to log into your account. So I'm going to do that and we'll take it to the next step. Okay, so once you're logged into Cloudflare, you're going to see an option here to add a site. Now, if you haven't added one before, the screen might look a little bit different to what you're looking at at the moment. But basically, the principles are the same. You just need to find the Add Site button. Click on Add Site. And then what we want to do is type in the name of our domain name. So in our example, it's going to be uh, moveittogroove.com. And then we're just going to click add. Now you notice there's nothing else. It's just the name of the domain. No HTTPS, no www, nothing like that. Just a straight name and then add. Okay, now once that's done, what we want to do is select one of these pr programs. Um, you can use the free one to start with, that's fine. So we're just going to click on free up the top here, then come down and confirm it. And that will scan for DNS records and set up a DNS for us. So on this screen, everything is set. We don't want to change anything on here. We just want to come straight to the bottom and click continue. We will change some of these records, but at a later date. So we're going to continue. Okay, and it tells us what we need to do now. So it tells us to log in to the domain name. So it says here Namecheap. So it has identified that we've bought our domain name from Namecheap. And it shows us that the current name servers with Namecheap are these two name servers here. And we need to replace them with these two here. 
So I'm going to copy this first one. So right click and copy it. I'm going to go back to my domain name. And where it says custom DNS, I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste that in there. I'm then going to go back to Cloudflare here and grab the second domain name. Copy that. Go back to the registrar here and paste it in. And so I've got my two name servers now. And once I've done that, all I want to do is come over here and click this little save button. So click save. And we'll just wait for that to populate. Now you see up the top here, it says that, uh, well, that disappeared pretty quick. But the domain name servers can take up to 48 hours before your website will show up on these new domain names. But that's fine. So we're pretty much done in here for the moment. What we want to do now is go back to... Uh, Cloudflare here and we want to come to the bottom here and say done check name service so I'm going to click on that all right and we need to go through a series of steps here to make sure that all of these are done so I'm going to click on get started and we need to make sure that HTTPS rewrites are on that's great so we're going to click save we'll come to the next one always use HTTPS we need to turn that on you want your website secure so it doesn't matter whether someone goes to an HTTP version of your website, they're going to be redirected to HTTPS, which is the secure site. So we're going to save that one, go through next. Now, you can turn these on, uh, but just bear in mind that if you have problems with your website later, you'll need to come back in here and turn these off. So to begin with, I recommend you leave them off. And then once everything's working, um, if you want to speed up your website as well, you can come back in here and turn some of these on. But for the moment, we'll just save it the way it is. We'll leave uh, the Brotly on. It speeds up the load times for visitors over HTTPS. It's provided by Brotly Compression. So we'll leave that on. Click Save. Then we get a summary. So it tells us that HTTPS rewrites are on. We're always using HTTPS, so the secure encryption to access our website. Auto Minify is not on at the moment, but the Brotly is on. We're going to click Finish. Okay, and all of that is done. Now, down the bottom here, you'll see Cloudflare periodically checks whether you have pointed your name servers to Cloudflare. And to perform immediate name server check, you can click uh, Recheck Now. So when you click this button, basically what it's going to do is Namecheap is going to um, try and verify with Cloudflare. So Cloudflare will send a ping basically over to the domain register here at, in this case, move it to Groove um, on our Namecheap site and just make sure that these two name servers that we've put in are effectively locked in to the domain name service. So I'll just go back to Namecheap. I'm going to click on check now. It says it's in the queue and it's ready to be checked. Please check back in a few hours. You'll also be notified by email once your site becomes active. So the email address that you've used to create your account at Cloudflare, you'll receive an email there once the website is up and the name service have converted. But look, generally it doesn't take too long. If you give it 10 or 15 minutes and then just refresh your browser here. So I'll just do, I'll just do this. I'll just do a refresh. And there you go. Look, great news. Cloudflare is now protecting your site. So if we want to just double check everything, we can go back to the DNS tab up here. And this is where we need to come in and start making some changes in here. So what I'm going to do in here, and I know this is going to seem a little bit crazy or a little bit funny to some of you, but what you want to do is literally just come in here and delete all of these records that are in here at the moment, okay? I'm going to delete them all, and I'll show you why. Because we want to be able to set our uh, system up so that we can point it to where we are actually built our website, which is on Groove itself. So I'm just going to go through and delete all of these. doesn't take a minute or so to do that. Delete, delete, delete. And last one. Okay, down the bottom, delete, delete. Okay, so they're all done. So the next thing we need to do is we need to add in some records. So the first thing I need to add in is a CNAME record. So I'm going to click on Add. I'm going to come down in this drop-down menu and I'm going to collect CNAME. 
and I need it to be at root. So I need to type in the at symbol and the target name. Well, this is where we want to send them. This is the website address from Groove that Groove gives us that we need to put in here. So to get that website address, I'm going to go back to Groove Funnels where I've got my account here. And down the bottom, you can see there's a little link now that says Publishing Help. And if you click on this, it should open a new tab in your web browser. And it gives you all the information about what we're looking at here. So how to publish your own name, domain name with GoDaddy and Namecheap and so on and so forth. So you can click on any one of these and you'll get the information you need if you're looking at a different uh, domain name server. But I'm just going to click on the top one here, publishing your own domain, because what I'm looking for is this, host.10.groovepages.com. This is what we need to put in. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to where we're creating our CNAME records here and I'm going to paste that in. And I'm going to leave this set to auto and I'm going to save it. Right, now, what that does is anytime anybody goes to the website, move it to groove.com so they don't type in www, okay? They just type in move it to groove or they're looking for move it to groove.com, they'll find it. That's fantastic. But I also want to put in the www version because some people do type that in. So I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do another C name record. And I'm going to say www, and the target this time is going to be exactly the same. Okay, host.10.groovepages.com, and I'm going to click on save. Okay, so once we've done that, if we have a look at the top here, Cloudflare is telling us what we else we need to do. So once we deleted all those records from before, Cloudflare will let us know if there's any M, what they call MX records or C name records or A records or any other type of record that we need to add to make sure this is working properly. Now you can see here that we're being told we need an MX record as well. So it's really, really simple, right? Add, drop down, come down to MX record in the list. We're going to look for MX. There it is. Click on that. And it tells us it needs to be root domain. So root domain, it says here, again, use at for root. So we'll just type in an at. And then we want to go to this address. So mail can be reached at. And we want to put in our domain name in this case. So I'm going to copy that. Put that in as the mail server. And I'm going to leave it on auto. And I'm going to set a priority of one. In other words, this is a higher priority it's a bit technical, but basically means that mail sits on top of everything else. So that's fine. And I'm going to click save. And there we go. Some DNS records are exposing IPs. And that's fine. We don't need to worry about any of that. There's no other issues as far as getting it set up. So that's all done. We check everything else. It looks good. It looks fine. So we should be okay. So if we go back to the overview... We know that Cloudflare is now protecting our site. We've got DNS records done here. Uh, we know that's connected with our domain service because we've got the Cloudflare stuff in here. So what we want to do last of all is come back into our website in GrooveFunnels here and I need to put in the actual domain name. So in this case, I'm going to put in HTTPS. Spell today. There we go, HTTPS, and then move it to groove.com. And I'm going to tick this little box, and I'm going to hit publish. Okay, and that should go through and publish it. And we'll give it a minute for the notification to come up from Groove that it's been published. Okay, and here it is. We've got our notification saying it's been published. It may go live in a few minutes. Now, you can add another domain, but basically, if you click on add another domain, what you're going to be typing in here, you can probably guess, right, is going to be www. Okay, so you want the www version of your website. So you can type in HTTPS. Let's just do it while we're here. www. Uh, move it to groove.com. Okay, make sure we've got everything spelt right. 
Type of double P's instead of double T's today. There you go, HTTPS, www.moveittogroove.com, and then we can publish that as well. Okay, and it should pick both of those up. I know it doesn't show any difference in here, but it will actually make a difference to the hosting and how people can find it. So make sure you do both. Okay, so back to the domain. That's looking all good. So we could log out of our cloud, uh, our Namecheap account. Nothing we need to do in here. Again, we'll just double check. Yep, all good. Cloudflare is protecting our site. And as I said before, if you need to make changes, um, you can come back into this DNS area. You can come in and have a look at the analytics on your website as well to see what sort of traffic you're getting and requests it's getting. Um, there's caching here. Now, there's default caching on your plan, but I want to talk to you about caching because caching can be important. If you're spending a lot of time doing things in your builder and you're publishing, publishing, publishing and updating all the time, you may find that when you go back to revisit your website that the changes don't look to have taken effect. That's because you've got what we call a cached web browser. It could even be cached on a mobile phone or a tablet or some other thing. So what you want to do here is, although you can't get cache analytics, you can come into configuration and you can do what we call purge the case or purge everything, okay? That'll clear everything out. It'll take Cloudflare a few minutes for it to pick back up everything on the website and uh, go through the process to speed it up to those that are re-looking at it on a new browser. But it's a really good way to make sure that you're getting the newest version of the website when you're viewing it. So as I said, if you're doing many, many, many publishings, every now and again, come back into your Cloudflare account, come back into caching, purge it, and uh, give it a chance to make sure that everything is cleaned out. And one of the last things I want to talk about here too is the SSL and TLS option in here. Now you can see that it's set the flexible at the moment, which is encrypts traffic between the browser and Cloudflare. You can set it to full, which is end-to-end -end encryption using a self-signed certificate on the Cloudflare server. So if you tick that box, then you can get that option. But you'll need to set up a self-signed certificate um, it should automate the process if you go through this and click on full. Uh, but if it doesn't for some reason and you need to set up a self-signed uh, certificate, Cloudflare will show you the process of doing it. But it's not that difficult. So just tick on full, come down to the bottom, make sure everything else is on. You don't need to turn this on. Uh, it's only in beta. Okay, so that's done as well. Nothing else to do there. It's encrypted now. We'll go back to DNS. Everything looks, still looks good in there. Again, we can go back to the overview. We'll just do a refresh, make sure that Cloudflare is protecting the site. Okay, it still is brilliant. Now, I did mention before too that if you're playing around uh, in the site here and you're doing some stuff, you've got it published and everything's working fine, that you may want to come back into Cloudflare at some point and change some of the settings we looked at earlier. Now, they're all in relation to speed. So if you click on speed here, uh, Cloudflare will give you an indication of how fast your website will currently load. Now, as you can see, this one loads in 3.2 seconds uh, and it's loading, loading really quickly. And there's a few reasons why, okay? One of those, if you come into optimization here, is the resizing of images and optimizing of images. I'm not going to discuss that now, um, but you can do that yourself without having to upgrade. There's also the improved load time by optimizing images hosted on the domain itself. So these sort of two work together. And here is that auto minify, as I said before. So if you want to minify the JavaScript or CSS or HTML, you can do that here. And that should also help with the process of the speed. So if I just go back to overview on uh, how your site is loading on different types of browsers. And you can see here, it says, look, uh, you know, it's faster on the desktop, it's faster on the mobile, all good at the moment. There's also browser insights, so you'll find that as uh, different people start looking at the website, you can come in here and look at page metrics, and you can do configurations and a few other things as well. So you'll need to turn these on, obviously, for them to work first. You need to come to configurations, turn them on, and core vitals. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. So again, 
two couple of things you need to make sure. Make sure you've got um, a domain name registered. We highly recommend Rate and Namecheap. Make sure you've got an account at Cloudflare as well so you can come through and set up your uh, account with Nameflare. Check your analytics, do your DNS settings, check your access and your speed, check your caching. It's all available here. Oh, one quick last point, very far right-hand side here. There's one more option. Uh, email address obfuscation is already on, but you'll find down the bottom here there's hot link protection as well. You can also turn this on to protect your images from off-site linking. In other words, from other people linking to the image that's hosted on your website. Uh, if that's a concern for you, you can turn that on as well. All right, there you go. Pretty much done, as I said. So two websites you need to be um, focusing on today. Namecheap.com and cloudflare.com name cheap for your domain and cloudflare for your dns setup get those two things sorted out come back to your account come down to publish on your own domain put the domain names in there and hit publish and we'll just open up a new browser we've given it enough time let's see if we can get here so i'm just going to type in move it to groove.com i'm not even going to type the https or www we'll just see if this comes up and boom there we are okay so this is working this is the home button it should just go back to home and as always our free training is available on groovepagestraining.com so you can come over to groove pages training here Click on home, that's where we are now. Get started, contact us, or if you want more information on me being able to help you personally, click on the contact button here, and a form will come up, and you can fill that out uh, with a calendar date and time, and I'll get back to you to see what I can do to help you resolve any personal issues you may have with your account at Groove. Until next time, thanks for watching.